Hey, third grade, and welcome back. It is week five, day five, so we are Friday, woo! Okay, so you should have done your skip counting, and the materials that you need for today, you just need something to write with, with, get this down, oh my gosh, and something to write, uh, now, some people were asking about the suspect list, and they said, how come we did not have a, um, that we crossed them off each time and then kept them off? We keep them clean, so this way you see the clue for that day. So this way you have to watch all the videos to find out who did it, because if we go through and cross them all off, then it makes it easy for you. But this way you have to do the work too. So make sure you're doing the work. Now our first thing is we're going to do our word problem. We're going to rip it apart and we are looking at reading the problem, identifying the important information, plan how to solve the problem, picture, draw a picture, E, execute your plan, solve it, and D, does it make sense? Hmm, here we go. So I'm going to write my phrase up top, ripped And let's get so oops, let's get started. It says the students took 12 pictures each day, Monday through Thursday. On Friday, they took 49 pictures. Did they take more pictures Monday through Thursday or more pictures on Friday? Hmm, this is an interesting. We need to make sure that we know the days of the week and we need to make sure that we know Monday through Thursday is how many days? Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. So that's four days. We need to make sure that we're saying four days of 12 pictures each day. Hmm, four groups of 12. Sounds like multiplication to me, but let's see. So did we read it? Sure did. We're going to identify the important information. So let's see. Let's see. The students took 12 pictures each day, Monday through Thursday. That's very important. Friday, they took 49 pictures. Did they take more pictures Monday through Thursday or more pictures on Friday? Well, that's kind of my question here. So, um, more pictures Monday through Thursday or more pictures on Friday. So we're not exactly saying what's the total for each day. We just want to know which group was bigger. Okay, so we're going to do a little compare and contrast. All right, so a little compare and contrast. So in my planning, I could kind of set this up like even like a T-chart where I have Monday through Thursday on this side and I put Friday on this side, and then I can look at the numbers and say, bigger, smaller, greater than, less than, which way, whoop, 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 whoop. Let's figure it out. So I'm gonna draw a T chart. Here we go. And I'm making it big, so I've got room. And I'm gonna label this side Monday through Thursday. And I'm gonna label this side Friday, okay? So I'm kind of getting my plan here, and I'm kind of doing my picture all a little bit at the same time because I'm going to do my T-chart. But now when I see four days, so Monday through Thursday, and I'm going to put that up here so I know that that's four days. So in four days, they took 12 pictures. Hmm. So I could do repeated addition. Monday would be 12. Tuesday would be 12. Wednesday, I almost said Thursday. Wednesday would be 12 and Thursday would be 12. So four days of 12, I could certainly do that. So I could go 12 plus 12 plus 12 plus 12. I could kind of draw it like a tape diagram. Four pieces is one, two, three cuts in my bar. Odd number in the middle, in the middle, in the middle. That would be 12, 12, 12. And 12. Now I've sometimes buddied them up where I would add like this piece here and then that piece and put it together. I could multiply it 12 times 4. I might go, oh, I don't know what 12 times 4 is. I could then do expand form and say 10 times 4 plus 2 times 4. Oh, that's a good one. 
You know what though? We haven't done this one in a while. I am gonna body them. So 12 and 12 is 24. And 12 and 12 is 24. And now I've got 24 and 24. So four plus four is eight. And two plus two is four. So 48. And then Friday, they just tell us straight out, there's no math. Friday, there's 49 pictures. Which day had more? Hmm. So if I'm comparing these two numbers, ready, I'm gonna compare these two numbers, I would say 49, and then I would write 48, and I'm gonna say greater than, less than, equal to, hmm. Now we all know which way, the alligator or the fish mouth goes to the bigger number, but what do we call it? So you just read it in a sentence. You would say 48 is, less than 49. Read it in a sentence. How does it flow? So 48 is less than 49. Which day did they take more pictures? They take more pictures on Friday. Whew. That was a good one today. So that was our picture. We planned it. We executed it. Does it make sense? Mm -hmm. We really figured out the Monday through Thursday. We figured it out with repeated addition. We could figure it out with multiplication. The math is good. And 48 to 49, you got it. Now we are moving on to our final clue. Now in our final clue, you can see right here, you can kind of move around my head. It says that in the grid below, you will find a number of statements being text to you. However, only one of them is revealing the correct final clue. Complete the division questions and then look for your answer in the statement boxes and cross out that box, meaning that the statement in that box has been eliminated. The one statement box left standing after completing all of the questions is the one with the correct clue. So. It sounds a little wordy, but what we're going to do is we're gonna do all this multiplication and these answers, anytime we have an answer up top, we're gonna cross them out. And the last the last clue standing is gonna be our clue. So it's kind of like a, an elimination, just like we've been doing with our suspects. You ready? Let's go. So let's just start our clues. Let's just start our <gasps> division. Oh no. Division is okay, it's so simple. It is, think of our fact families. It's the same thing as multiplication, just backwards. So 20 divided by two. So you could think of it as, I have 20 cards and I deal them out to two people. One for you, one for you, two for you, two for you. And I deal them out, dealing out my cards. And I would do this until I had no cards left. Hmm. Or I could say, Two times what? Because it's the same thing. Two times what gives me 20. Hmm. So I can skip count by twos how many times? Two, four, six, eight, ten. Let me get my other hand up here. 12, 14, 16, 18, 20. How many times? 10. So I know that two times 10 is 20. And by knowing that, I know that 20 divided by two is 10. Aha, see how this works? Eight divided by two, hmm. So if I take eight and I were to draw it into groups of two, how many groups would I have? Eight divided by two, hmm. And I could say I have it into two groups, but I deal them out to two. Or I could even say I have groups of two because we know in fact families, I could say it either or, commutative property. I can switch them around. So eight divided by two, two times what gives me eight? Counting by twos, two, four, six, eight. That is how many? Bloop, bloop, four. Love skip counting. Two divided by two. So if I have two, how many twos can I take in that group? I did it one time. So two divided by two is one. 16 divided by two. Hmm. Now when we divide by two, we're also saying cut it in half. Did you know that? So cut it in half. 
what is half of 16? Well, I kind of know my doubles. Like I would say, 2 plus 2 is 4, 4 plus 4 is 8, 8 plus 8 is 16. So half of 16 is 8. Half of 20 is 2. Half of 8 is 4. Half of 2 is one. Oh, so two. When I divide by two, I'm also cutting things in half, right? Ten divided by two, or half of two, or sorry, half of ten. That's half of ten. Good. Five. Twenty-four. Hmm. Half of twenty-four. Jeepers creepers. Half of twenty-four. Let me think. Hmm. Now, you can also set division up like this. And I would say 24 divided by 2. Oh, well, that's weird. How many times does 2 go into 2? We're going to go with this one first. It goes in one time. So there's one group of 2 into, tw into 2. So I go 2 times. Let me make this smaller and move it so you can see the whole kit and caboodle here. I'll make it a little bit smaller. There we go. Okay, so you ready? I'll put it right there. So then I would go 2 times 1 is 2. 2 minus 2 is 0. Bring down the 4. Boop, 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 boop. 2 goes into 4 how many times? Hmm. Two, four, two times. So it goes in two times. Two times two is four and zero. And it works out. So this is another way. This is called long division. Okay, and you can see they call it long division because you spread it out and it takes a little bit longer. But so 24 divided by two is 12 or half of Half of 24 is 12. Pretty cool, huh? All right. Now, 12 divided by 2. Half of 12, hmm, how many groups of 2 are in 12? 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12. So 6. 6 divided by 2, or half of 6, or how many groups of 2 in 6? 2, 4, Six, three, 18 divided by two. Hmm, what's half of 18? Half of 18, I don't know. Let's get count by two. Two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18. How many? Nine, good job. 4 divided by 2. Hmm. So if I take 4 and I split 4 in half, I would say that there's 2 in this group and 2 in this group. So 2. 14 divided by 2. Oh, counting by 2s again. Let's go that way. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14. Choo -choo. 7. Now let's go through and we're going to cross out some answers that we have. So our first answer is 10. So looking at, oh, I find a 10 clue. Then I see my next one is 8 divided by 2 is 4. I'm going to find the 4 clue. 2 divided by 2 is 1. Here's a 1. 16 divided by 2 is 8. Kind of hidden by my head a little bit. There we go. Then I have 10 divided by 2 is 5, and this one's really hidden by my head. Sorry. You can see it up here, and we'll bring it down a little bit. Come on. I'm going to cross him out. 24 divided by 2 is 12. Cross that clue out. Six. Oops, 12 divided by 2 is 6. Crossing this one out. Shh, shh. 6 divided by 2 is 3. Choo -choo. 18 divided by 2 is 9. Where's my 9? There he is. 
4 divided by 2 is 2, and 14 divided by 2 is 7. So that leaves us bum, ba, da, bum, our final clue. And our final clue says the super bad superhero uses poisonous burps. That's disgusting. To weaken victims, then teleports to make them to make a fast getaway. That's disgusting. He uses poisonous burps. Hmm. Poisonous burps. Let's go to our clue list. And we're going to see, so looking at this, we see the main superpower. I don't see poisonous burps in the main superpower, but I do see them in the extra superpower. So looking at your extra superpower, we're going to go through and we're going to cross off anyone who does not use poisonous burps. Okay, so because we know that's what he uses, that's his big old power. So ready, we're going to cross off the lion, oops, cross off the lion man. He does not use, he is shape-shifting. Super strength for dare girl, dare I say? She's not our suspect. Uh, Mega Mage uses poisonous burps, so it could be him. And oh, he said then they also use teleportation. So this is like a double-double. Hmm. The Owl Man, invisibility and shape-shifting. <gasps> nope. Blitzfire uses energy blasts and super strength. Not my man. Thunderhawk, super speed and sonic scream. Ah, no. Then we have Razor, who uses energy blasts and sonic scream. No. I think that's what it sounds like. Um, Starlight uses invisibility and flight. Nope. Starlight, star bright, you're not my, you are not my suspect tonight. Let's see, Ladybug uses teleportation. Ooh, but shape shifting. There's nothing about poisonous burps. That's disgusting. So she is gone. The Giggler. <laughs> Let's see, uses poisonous burps and mind control. Hmm, poisonous burps. So I'm not gonna cross that one off, but I can see that it does not have all the requirements. Hmm, so let's go, we'll go back to that one. Let's see, Captain Nucleus uses super speed and flight. Do, 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 do. nope. Then we have Miss Amazing, Mrs. Amazing, that's me, thank you, uses Mind Control and Sonic Scream. No! Dr. Bolt, Mind Control and Super Strikes. No! He's a good guy. He is not the bad guy. Let's see. Splash uses Energy Blasts and Poisonous Burps. Hmm. I'm going to leave that one. We'll come back and talk about it in a second. Zap Man. Whoop, whoop. So Zap Man does not. He uses teleportation and flight. That poisonous burps, I think, is a big piece in there. So looking along, we see Pizza Peter, who uses super speed and poisonous burps. We'll keep that in, and we'll talk about that in a second. Um, tenacious. Mm -mm, super strength, not the one. Typhoon uses super speed and sonic scream. No! Let's see. Blinker uses teleportation and poisonous burps. Hmm. Major Fury, super speed and flight. Nope. And Colossal Crush, invisibility and super strength. <laughs> I don't see you because you're not it. So now looking back, as I said, we've got some that you go, oh, it's got poisonous burps, but they don't have the teleportation. So do you think that these guys could be suspects if they don't have both? The clue specifically said both. It said teleportation and poisonous burps. So I'm going to say if it doesn't have both, I would take it out. Hmm. Interesting. Now, I also know, based on other clues, that they might be eliminated from other areas. So, Splash, Splash, 
would not be in because of a couple reasons. But she also, he, she, he does not have the teleportation. And I look at Mr. Pizza Peter. He is not going to be in. He has poisonous burps. He does not have teleportation. But I think we also eliminated him another day. And then I look at Blinker Blinker. Hmm. I'm not going to eliminate Blinker based on today's clues. But she may have been eliminated because of something else. So right now, oh, and the giggler. <laughs> Mind control, not my mind, buddy. So you are out. Hmm. So looking at our clues. Do, do, do. We did pretty good eliminating today. So once you figure out who it is, you can go to Washington West during the lunch pickup. And if you tell them who the anti-superhero is, who's the bad guy, and tell them that you caught him, there might be a prize there for you. So you can pick up your prize either Friday, or if you finish your assignment Friday or have to finish it up over the weekend and you get it all done, Monday we don't have school, don't forget. So I'm not going to tell you Monday, but I'm going to tell you Tuesday. So Tuesday, when we have school and you have lunch pickup, you can pick up your prize. So Friday or Tuesday, take your pick, but go pick up your prize. Great job this week, guys. I will see you on Tuesday. Have a super duper, super duper, get it? Superhero. Have a superhero weekend. Bye, guys.